Hi dear students, welcome back to JE Advanced Question Paper Discussion 2024. This is question number 9. A disk of mass M and radius R is, rot is rotated about its vertical axis as shown in figure. A battery is operated motor of negligible mass M is fixed, fixed, to, the, fix, fixed to this disk at a point on the circumference. Another disk of mass M and radius R by 2 is fixed on the motor's thin shaft. Initially, the both disks are at a rest. So the initial angular momentum of the system will be zero. The motor switch is switched on so that the smaller disc, disc uh, rotate at a uniform angular speed omega. If the angular speed at the larger disc, angular speed at which the larger disc rotate is omega divided by n, then the value of n is. So initially, the angular momentum of the system is zero. So the final angular momentum have to be zero because there is no external torque angular momentum should be conserved. Conservation of angular momentum apply the larger disk in angular velocity. So we can uh, apply conservation of angular momentum about this axis which is passing through the center of the larger disk perpendicular to the plane of the disk. Imagine that motor on when the motor switched on the smaller disk start to rotate in this particular sense with an angular speed omega. Let us consider it to be positive omega. Our sense in the uh, direction of positive omega to consider here. At the same time, larger disks start to rotate in the opposite sense, counter sense direction. Because the final angular momentum have to be zero. If so, this disk rotate here, that is the angular momentum cancel in the manner. Larger disk rotate here. Larger disk in angular velocity, we find out here. Larger disk that is the opposite sense will rotate here. Let's say minus of omega dash. So we can apply conservation of angular momentum about this axis. So larger disk in the angular momentum, let's say L1 is equal to, uh, angular momentum is equal to moment of inertia L L is equal to I omega, I is moment of inertia, moment of inertia of the disk is M R square by 2 into omega dash and consider it is negative. And uh, angular momentum of the smaller disk, smaller disk is the angular momentum, that is the sondam axis is spin angular momentum, then that smaller disk is rotate, rotating along with the larger disk, that is the angular momentum, that is the sensum that we have to do. L2 is equal to, that is the axis spin chamber angular momentum is equal to, see, mass is m, radius is r by 2, so moment of inertia is equal to m r square by 2, so here radius is r by 2, so m r by 2 whole square divided by 2, m r square by 2, m r whole square divided by 2 into, that is the speed omega, that is positive right to consider here, so L2 is equal to, m r square divided by 8 omega and the smaller disk is rotating its own axis as well as which is rotating along with the larger disk in the uh, e larger disk node oppam adin the circumface le fix edu ondu karangumbo a uh, small, smaller disk larger disk node oppam karanguna angular velocity minus of omega dash thanne irikkum the whole mass of the smaller disk assumed to be concentrated at the center of mass so, L2 not upon, one angular momentum would have that is minus of in the whole mass, center of mass will assume to be concentrated. Apart the revolve in the rotate in the rotational radius, radius of that larger disk in the room, because larger disk in the circumface, in the smaller disk fixed. See, so it will be M r square that is moment of inertia into omega dash then the net angular momentum should be zero net angular momentum should be zero that is zero is equal to minus of m r square by 2 omega dash plus m r square divided by 8 into omega minus m r square omega dash so negative term okay, it the side like on manual mr square by 2 omega dash plus mr square omega dash is equal to mr square omega divided by 8. So 3 m r square omega dash divided by 2. Here it is mr square by mr omega mr square omega dash divided by 2. Here it is mr square omega dash. 
So 3 by 2 mR square omega dash. Half mR square omega dash. Or mR square omega dash. And that is equal to mR square omega divided by 8. mR square get cancelled out. 2, 8 will cancel out. It becomes 4. And 3 taken to this side becomes 8. Omega dash is equal to omega divided by 3 into 4. So omega dash is equal to omega divided by 12. Because still uh, omega divided by n and n and the value is 12. Gittum. So answer is option. Answer is 12. So that is the solution of this problem. Thank you so much. Namakari Tosilika.